Hello, my name is Mark Willis and I'm the pastor for Merriam Christian Church. This is my Maltese Yorkie, Patrick. He celebrated his fourth birthday yesterday on St. Patrick's Day. and He was in our last video, the one that we did on Sunday, and several folks really seemed to enjoy him, so we invited him to come back with us today. Merriam Christian Church has decided today that for the next two weeks, until April 1st, we will not have any in-person gatherings, meetings, worship services of any kind while we continue to observe the guidelines put out by the CDC, the National Institute of Health, and the World Health Organization. During this time, it's, it's a little more difficult for us. We have to work a little harder at staying connected. And that's what, that's what these videos are about, or an, an opportunity for us to stay in contact with each other, to stay connected as the body of Christ. Just because we're not able to meet together physically in a room for an hour and a half this week doesn't mean that we stop being the church. We are called to be the church every day, whether we're sequestered in our house or we're going to the grocery store or we're finally able to get back out again. We want to remember that, that we are called to be the church together. And that's what our goal here is. I thought since this is midweek, I would share with you some of the Lenten study I've been doing. We've been doing a study on the Lord's Prayer. Easy, Tiger. Easy. We've been doing a study on the Lord's Prayer based on N.T. Wright's book, The Lord and His Prayer. We've already done a couple weeks of this. We talked about Our Father Who Art in Heaven, Thy Kingdom Come. And I'll do some other videos later to talk about those. But this week's lesson I thought was particularly appropriate. This week's lesson was on Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread. What a, what a great message for us to have to focus on this week. At a time when we're hearing about grocery store shelves being emptied, there being no bread or eggs or milk in the grocery store, Stores are having to put in limits on what people can buy because if they don't, folks will walk out with a whole cart full. And Jesus in his prayer teaches us, give us this day our daily bread. What a great message. A message that speaks of God's abundance and God's provision. God provides for us every day our daily bread. Nothing is more basic than that. Jesus in the prayer has already taught us to say our Father, to say thy kingdom come. This is where we give honor and glory to God. But now the prayer changes and we begin to ask for ourselves. What do we need? And Jesus starts with our most basic need. Give us this day our daily bread. You know, in a world that is so focused on scarcity, that is so focused on making sure that you get yours, forget everybody else. On a world that tells us to be worried and stressed about where we're gonna get our next loaf of bread. Got a wave of car. In a world that tells us to be stressed about where we're gonna get our next loaf of bread, Jesus steps into that world and says, when you pray, pray this way. Give us this day our daily bread. What a revolutionary message of resistance. A message to throw out against the world's message of scarcity and say, I believe in the God of the daily bread. And tomorrow I'm going to ask for that bread again. And the next day after that, and the next day after that, no matter how long this takes, I believe in the God of the daily bread. What a powerful message that Jesus gives us to turn away from the scarcity of this world and the stress and the worry and instead focus on God's abundance. Jesus time and again tried to show us what God's kingdom looked like when he would sit down to the feast, when he would sit down to the banquet table with sinners and tax collectors and prostitutes. The people of his time didn't understand and even we today sometimes struggle that what he was showing us is what God's kingdom looks like and in God's kingdom 
The table is always full. There is always more than enough. Not just for me. In the prayer it says, give us our daily bread. I'm praying not just for my bread today, but for your bread. For my friends and family's bread. For strangers' bread. Give us our daily bread. And then, Lord, tomorrow, I'm going to ask for it again because I know that you will provide. What a wonderful message to have right now in these times of, of stressing and worrying about things, to have that peace that God is providing, that God hears God's people, that God is still moving among us, even if we're not gathering for a, a in-person physical worship service this week God is moving amongst all of us and as God moves among us we tell him give us this day our daily bread I thought I would end our time together today with a with a prayer I thought we would do the Lord's Prayer together this is another way that we can stay connected wherever you are watching this video I encourage you to, to say the Lord's Prayer with me let us say this prayer together and let us proclaim to this world of scarcity that I believe in a God of abundance. I believe in the God of the, the banquet table. I believe in the God that gives us our daily bread. Now we're going to say this prayer with debts and debtors, but you say it however you feel comfortable. Join with me as, as we form church along these technological lines as we continue to be the church in the midst of these difficult times. Please pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I encourage you to stay safe, follow the guidelines of all the medical experts. May God bless you and keep you until we meet again.